Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Sunday Live activation. How's everybody doing today? Today, we're going to be talking about the root chakra and why it's so important, especially right now. So important. So important. And the information that I'll be sharing about the root chakra today comes from my Lyran star family, the Andromedan Council, and experiences that I've had and had to work through regarding the root chakra. And also, uh, I've, I've seen some conversations through the group sessions and in the Telegram group chat where I know that the root chakra is the issue and would help so much. So it's very timely, especially with what's going on right now. All right. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Back to the roots. Exactly. The root chakra is often overlooked because it's it's the bottom chakra, and today I'm wearing red for the root chakra because it's red. Also, a fun tip, if you're working on a specific chakra, wearing that color can help. Like if you go to bed in that color or um, just, yeah, wearing clothes that color can assist in opening and activating that chakra. Hi, Michelle. Lyron in the house. Yeah. Thanks, Darby. Hello, Dots. Lisa. Cynthia Witt, sipping cacao right now and prep for this, getting my heart space open to aid in this work today. That's amazing. I had my first cacao ceremony last night. It was so pleasant. So pleasant. So you just get like cacao powder. I got it off of Amazon and mix it together with oat milk and it's really tasty. Super good. Yeah. And so I also put plants in the background because the root chakra is all about being grounded and nature helps with being grounded. So I'm like somebody who's very heavy in the upper chakras. My crown chakra is like wide open. I'm very heavy on the third eye, uh, especially for some of you guys who may be developing your psychic abilities, your crowns are starting to open. Um, that can cause you to become very ungrounded. So that's why the that's another reason why the root chakra is so important. So I'm very like top heavy. I'm very heavy up here. And as I was beginning to develop my psychic abilities and wake up, I started to become very ungrounded because, you know, you're receiving all of these downloads, all of these activations, your third eye is opening. And a lot of people like to just focus on the third eye. That's the popular one. But that can be a grave mistake if you are not balanced in the bottom one. That It can actually be harmful if you're too much up here and you become very ungrounded. So the root chakra, and thank you, Zach, for the super sticker. Awesome. Need the grounding. Yep. And, and if you can't go outside that much. So that's why I bought, I bought a crap ton of plants, and it has helped so much. Like you guys should see my kitchen in my living room. It's filled with plants and I'm probably going to go get some more today. So that's very helpful. Nature's grounding. Um, also crystals. So crystals are very, very grounding, very helpful. There's ones that specifically work towards the root chakra. Uh, a lot of black ones. So this is shungite. This is black tourmaline. These are some of my favorites. Uh, this is also black tourmaline. So I have all of these like around my bed because like I said, I'm very top heavy and, um, sometimes before bed, I can get very ungrounded. Like I'll start receiving all these crazy visions and, and it can also being ungrounded, not being firmly planted in your root chakra can cause you to have racing thoughts. It can cause you to have fear, to have anxiety, to have worry. It can cause you to feel unstable, just not secure in who you are. So that's a big reason why the root chakra is so important. Okay. Yeah. Right now it's more important than ever to stay grounded in the root. So basically everything that's going on in the media right now is an attack on your root chakra. <laughs> your root chakra is your sense of safety, your sense of security. 
So with what's going on in the news and the media, you know, they're really pushing fear. That is an attack on the root chakra. And if you are stuck in the root chakra, in the very bottom chakra, then you can't access your power. You can't access your heart. You can't access your intuition. So that's why they do that, to keep you stuck down there. <laughs> yeah, just don't even watch it. Don't even watch it. I'll talk about the sacral in just a second. Let me catch up on the chat real quick. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate you. Um, and somebody had just asked a question. Oh, Sanzi, I did not see that. I will double check to make sure that I received it. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That helps the channel a lot. Yeah, Leah brings up a good point. So past relationships can affect the root chakra. I've had, yeah, <laughs> I've had past relationships where, yeah, that was just a, a, a big issue. Um, so relationships are a big one. And somebody had just asked about the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is the one like right above that. So the, your root chakra is in, in near the base of your spine. It's red. And then the sacral chakra is around your navel. That one's your sense of like creativity. It also has a lot to do with intimacy. Um, it's your creative power. And if you've ever been unfortunately like assaulted or had issues with intimacy, that is an imbalance in the sacral chakra. That is also your sense of creativity, like I said. So artistic expression is the sacral. So basically what my star family, what the Lyrans Andromedans taught me as, so these UFOs started showing up. They started teaching me about spirituality and personal development. I started to awaken. And what I did, instead of starting from the top, with a third eye, I started from the bottom chakra and I worked my way up. I started from the root. So being a star seed on earth right now, we just have tons of issues with our root chakra from this lifetime and past lifetimes. So you really, really, it's a good idea to start from the bottom and go up. So what I did was I spent at least a few days on the root and you can also do like mantras you can do affirmations and I'll share that in, in the activation whenever we start the activation. So if you're new to my channel, I'll talk about the root chakra, give you guys some tips, and then I'll do a root chakra activation channeled with the star beings to assist in clearing, opening, healing, and balancing the root chakra. So I started from the bottom and worked my way up. Think of it as like, you know, like the kundalini energy. Your, your energy goes up through your chakras. It starts from the bottom up. You really need to be balanced on the bottom to be able to reach the higher chakras. Hopefully that makes sense. Mm -hmm. The cats love this. Yeah. And if you ever have any fear, then that is an imbalance in the root chakra. So some conversations that I've heard earlier today that inspired this. Um, I had somebody on a group session the other day who said that they had to work through fear. Like they wanted to meet their star family, but they had to work through fear. And, you know, getting into like the spiritual practices and stuff, they had fear. And then in, so that's what I suggested for her to do was work on a root chakra. Because if you ever have any fear, that's an imbalance in your root chakra. You should not be afraid. That was one of the biggest things that my star family was teaching me in the beginning of this. You should never be afraid, <laughs> ever. I mean, emotions happen and things happen, but you should not be afraid. That's not the, the frequency that we deserve to be in, that we are supposed to be in. So anytime fear would come up, anxiety, any of that, I would go back to the root chakra and so how I did it is I would do spend a few days on it. I would do some some meditations on it, work on it for at least a few days. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, great timing. At least for a few days. Um, and then routinely, you can do a root chakra meditation anytime you feel yourself kind of slipping. The root chakra also has to do with like financial stability and just feeling secure in who you are. So if you're worried about money or if you just don't feel like you have a good foundation, 
So it's like whenever you're building a house, you don't start from the bottom you, or you don't start from the top. You, you build a good foundation first. So that's another reason why it's so important. High energy. Um, also, I wanted to mention psychic attacks. Fun topic. Psychic attacks. <laughs> so whenever I started opening my third eye and started developing my psychic abilities and whenever I started remembering, there was a period. I may, I may do a chakra series. Yes, I'm thinking about it. I think that's needed. Definitely. Uh, so whenever my psychic abilities started activating, I started like opening up to the spiritual realm. I really had to learn very firm boundaries because whenever you, if you just open yourself up, you know, there can be negative energy from your neighbor floating down the street. There's negative energy from the collective that's all around. So you really have to, to give yourself strong boundaries. So some of this fear that you may be feeling is not even yours. It's from other people. So that was a, a big part of it was strong boundaries. And then also my third eye just busted wide open and I did experience some negative energies and um, beings, not extraterrestrial, but kind of like paranormal, just mostly like kind of like sketchy visions because I'm very vision heavy. So I started experiencing that and I was like, okay, what's going on star family? And I spoke with my Andromedan star family, Andromedan and Lyran. And what they said was that that negative energy was getting in through my root chakra. So I had, I had traumas from this lifetime and past lifetimes that were basically kind of like tears, <laughs> basically like tears in my root chakra. So it left like a back door. So anytime you experience, like most of the time, whenever you experience a psychic attack or negative energy, they're getting in through the bottom three chakras, the sacral, the root, and the solar plexus. The solar plexus is the one right there. It is your sense of power. So if you don't feel like in your power, if you don't, if you feel weak, if you feel vulnerable, that's a door for them to get in. So that's, that's what I did. I started experiencing these psychic attacks. Then I really deep dived into my root chakra and did a lot of healing work with that for weeks. I had to do a lot. <laughs> and, uh, after I worked through that, it basically made me like impenetrable. So if you were experiencing anything like negative, like that, uh, past life traumas, it can cause little tears. It can be little doorways in your chakras. So that's why it's so important. Let me check the chat for a second. Ears pinging off the charts. Yeah, it's tough sometimes being empathic. Yeah, exactly. So strong energetic boundaries will help that. A practice that I, that the star beings taught me to do was a daily cleansing and clearing. And also you can do a platinum protective bubble around you. You can even do that before bed. So often I'll do that before bed. You know, I'm laying down for sleep and I'll just visualize like a white bubble around me so that no kind of like lingering energies can come in. Yep. We all need to do work on our root chakra. Everybody. And somebody had just mentioned cord cutting that we'll also do that today because that's a really, really big part of like past life traumas and just traumas from this lifetime. It can cause energetic cords that is attached to your energy. So like if you have an ex, for example, that just brings you so much like trauma and drama. And for some reason, like you just can't get rid of them or you, you can't heal it. There's an energetic cord there that is keeping you two connected and it's negatively affecting both of you. So that's just one example. It's really good to cut cords and Archangel Michael is phenomenal at cutting cords. So we'll do that today as well. Cord cutting in. Yeah, some people say, uh, thank you, yoga. Yeah, some people, uh, Tanis, new mod. Thank you. Hello. Welcome. Uh, some people have said, well, I've already cut cords. Like whenever I do a reading and then it comes up that they have some cords cut. They're like, well, I already did that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, 
because there are some cords that are available to be cut now. And then as you progress, then we're like onions. We, you're peeling the layers of the onions and more cut cords need to be cut. So it's good to do it routinely. And before we go any further, I wanted to mention if you are interested in CBD, I have partnered with Hopewell Farm CBD, high quality uh, CBD, very, very good high quality CBD. They do energy work on it. I take it every single day. So if you are looking for CBD, you, you would like to try it out. There is a 10% off discount code in the description. It's near the bottom, Hopewell Farm CBD with code Lily10. Also, I am doing two more group DNA activation sessions, group sessions on Zoom. I'm doing two more because I've, I've still had people emailing me. We just had two this past week. They went really, really well. So basically, it's like a 30-minute, 20, 30-minute kind of presentation on DNA activation, how to connect with your star family. I'll go around and rapidly say, you know, whose star family I'm sensing at this time to help you connect with them, you know, to help give you some direction on who's around you. And then I go into an hour long channeled DNA activation. So these are smaller intimate groups on Zoom. Uh, thank you, Victor, for sharing the links there. So we're doing two more dates on this specific topic. Uh, Thursday, April 13th at 7 p.m. Central Time. And then the other one is Saturday, April 15th, at 12 p.m. Central Time. So there's a sign up. There's 20 slots for that. Um, this is my first time announcing it. There's there's only a few slots taken. Um, so if you would like to, and it's also just fun, like getting together and talking together. You know, I give every, there's an opportunity for a Q and A, and you know everybody can share their experience at the end. It was really nice getting to meet everybody face to face. So if you are interested in that, there's sign up for both of those. Make sure that you check your time conversion if you are in a different time zone. Beautiful. Thank you, Golden Threads. I appreciate that. And some, Carolyn brings up a good point, and some can reattach the cords. I could see that. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay, also, if you're interested in the Journey to Truth conference, it's a conference in Grafton, Illinois. I'm going to be attending. Uh, there's So I started, I'm just going to put the link for their website in the description description from now on. Uh, it's journeytotruthcon.com. So I'm going to be going uh, Robert White, Order of Light is going to be there. Journey to Truth, guys. Sherry Divban is presenting. Tony Rodriguez is presenting. It's going to be a good time. So there will be a link for that if you're interested in that in the description. And then what else? Tonight we have a fundraiser with Sherry Divband. Uh, she, I just had her on recently. She is a she's an intuitive. She works with the um, with the New Earth children and the Star Seed children. So we're doing a fundraiser tonight. It's going to be me, um, Lowell Johnson, the Inner Earth Guy, Order of Light, Robert White, and Heidi Pop, and a few others. So it'll be like just a Zoom. We're, we're going to be hanging out. That'll be premiering tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time. So make sure to check that out. That's on Sherry's YouTube channel. So just come hang out. You don't have to donate if you don't want to. But if you do, that would be super helpful to the uh, Aramis Creative Learning Center. Uh, she's she's about to start an actual physical location to teach children. So, yeah, well, it's going to be a good time. Thank you, Laura. Sherry's YouTube channel. Thank you, Victor. Yeah, so you can also just look up Sherry Dip Band. That'll be tonight. It's going to be fun. Awesome. Okay. So we talked about psychic attacks, um, past life traumas. There was also some people on the group session this week that were talking, the Orion Wars was coming up. So a lot of us have lived in, um, ha have been involved in the Orion Wars and the Lyran Wars, which has caused a lot of trauma. And even Atlantis and Lumeria, the fall of that, you know, we felt so much fear at that time because like the, basically the whole world ended. In Lyra, it was it was a massacre, basically, unfortunately. Um, apparently, 50 million Lyrans lost their lives in the attack on Lyra. This was millions of years ago, but it's a deep wound that is still affecting basically all of us. Even if you didn't go, to, even if you didn't live on Lyra whenever that happened, there was a lot of, even Arcturians like Debbie Solaris, 
She wasn't a Lyran, but she was there helping as an Arcturian. And I'm pretty sure she lost her life in the attack also. So even if you weren't Lyran, you've probably been affected by it. And even just from all of the trauma, we need to release that baggage so that we can raise our vibration. So those are three big ones. Uh, somebody else was saying they were having past life memories come up, dreams of like galactic wars. So if you have any dreams like that, definitely you should work on your root chakra and clearing and healing past lives. Sound good? Oh, Tannis, honestly, if you get a chance to join a group activation, it feels amazing. And it's a great way to feel like there are more of us with this awareness. Great to meet everyone in person. Awesome. Yeah, we, uh, you were at the one this past week. Yeah, Sherry is amazing. Support Sherry's work. Yeah, even if you don't want to donate or can't donate, at least show up. Um, that would be awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Does anybody have any questions about the root chakra? Carolyn brings up a good point. And the witch is being burned at the stake. So that was a big uh, past life trauma for me as well. A lot of us, they, they burned millions upon millions of people, healers, star seeds in the Middle Ages, uh, thinking that they were witchcraft. So that was a big one. And the Syrians came to me and showed me that lifetime. And they said that was negatively, I'm, it was affecting my root chakra too, but it was really affecting my throat chakra. It made me afraid to speak my truth. So before I started coming on YouTube and sharing my story, I had to clear and heal my throat chakra so that I could actually speak. <laughs> so that I could be myself. Hi, Megs. Welcome, new mod as well. Even healed the trauma from tsunamis from Atlantis, Lemurian times. Exactly. Your reading was amazing. Highly recommend. The Lyrans had me do a grounding light language video on my channel. They're amazing at this. So excited for day for today. Beautiful. Uh, Sherry's going to do Palm Beach, I think it is. It's in Florida. The physical location for her creative learning, uh, learning center. Christine, my root chakra starts pulsing when I meditate. Do you know what that would mean? That's interesting. I think that sounds good. It sounds like it's being kind of like activated or your guides could be working on it also. So some people may feel physical sensations from this. I'm more of a visual person, but I'd say if you're feeling your root chakra pulsing, that's a, that's a good sign that they're helping you to work on it. It may also be a call. They may also be saying, hey, focus on your root chakra more. My throat gets hot when I'm receiving Reiki healing. Awesome. What kind of root meditation did you do yourself? Um, so there's a specific one that I really, really like. Man. I can't remember. Just look up root chakra meditation. Afterwards, I'll pin it in the comments. Um, it was called like root chakra meditation. I think it was like a boot camp or something. It was a chakra series. It's a red cover, something on, on YouTube. It was about 40 minutes. I think there's a nature scene in the background, but I'll come back and pin it um, in the comments. Okay, let me take a few sips. Um, Violet Flame, how does it feel when the root chakra opens up? You just feel a lot more grounded. You feel a lot more calm. You feel peaceful. You may physically feel it too. I'm more of a visual person, but you may also physically feel it. So your mind, you feel more clarity. You feel calm. You feel peace. You don't feel fear. You feel stable. You feel strong. Yeah, the root chakra right now with what's going on in the news, that's those are attacks on the root chakra. So that's that's another reason why it's super important to work on that right now. Yep, that's it. Nick, root chakra boot camp day one. That's it. That's the root chakra meditation that I like. Okay, let me see if there was anything else. 
Also, real quickly, uh, emotions can get stuck in the body. This goes along with the past lives um, and, and trauma just from this lifetime. Those the, the fear can get stuck in the body. So then we'll work to clear that as well. And, and then just real quickly, again, crystals that can help are black crystals or red crystals. So this is shungite. This is black tourmaline. This will help the root chakra. I have these all around my bed because, like I said, I'm very top heavy. <laughs> and they help me ground. <laughs> and you need to be grounded in order to reach the higher levels. And the ground, yes, grounding on the earth helps with the root chakra 100%. Another great way is just spending time in nature, stargazing, plants sitting by a tree, um, taking a bath, anything that just helps you to be very present in the moment. And yes, I channel my spirit guides. <laughs> I channel them all the time. <laughs> and for these activations, they're connecting with my throat chakra. All right, so I guess we are, we are starting. Let's get started. One other thing. So we have a Sasquatch interview on Wednesday. I'm excited about my friend is coming on to talk about Sasquatch. Uh, he's very close with a Sasquatch being. So it's um, it's going to be fun. Since uh, my recent um, travels to Arkansas and I got to meet that Sasquatch family. All right. If everybody wants to go ahead and begin getting comfortable, we will start the activation in just a second. Yeah, deep breaths. So I'm also going to just light a little bit of sage. Sacred smoke. So we are setting the intention to help clear, heal, open, and balance our root chakras. We will also be cutting any negative cords today that may be affecting our root chakra. Just letting go of all of the old energy. I'm excited for Sasquatch. I love, they've helped me so much the past couple of weeks. It's incredible. All right. Ceremonies are super powerful too. Just putting all of that energy and intention and attention, especially as a group. So we're just clearing away any old energy, any negative energy. Okay. Now we will go ahead and get started. <laughs> that tree behind me scared me the other day. <laughs> I moved it to a different spot and I was like, whoa, I wasn't expecting it there. Okay, taking a few deep breaths in. Okay, we're going to call in the Archangels, Archangel Michael, the 
the warrior protector angel, Archangel Raphael, healer magician angel, Archangel Uriel, Gabriel, So we set the intention to help heal, clear, open, ground our root chakras. Just allowing these frequencies from this bowl, from my voice, to begin relaxing you. Breathing light into your body. As you breathe in light into your body, just visualize this light or feel this light entering in through your mouth, through your throat, spreading throughout your body. And as you breathe out, breathing out any tension, breathing in light, breathing out tension, We ask our star families, our cosmic families of the highest love and light to be here with us now, our guides, our ascension team. Our Native American guides of the highest love and light to assist us in this grounding root chakra ceremony. Bringing their lovely grounding energies. Our Sasquatch guides of the highest love and light also coming in to assist, bringing lovely grounding energies. And now we will connect ourselves to the earth. Visualize or feel the platinum light coming down from the grand central sun, coming down from space, connecting you to the higher realms, to the divine. Platinum light coming down from space to the sky and to the top of your crown chakra, opening your crown. This platinum light continues going through all of your chakras into your root chakra at the base of your spine. And then from your root chakra, going down through the chakras below your feet, your earth star chakra, 
And then this platinum light continues down deep into the earth. You may see or visualize roots of this platinum light going down deep into the earth. anchoring you and as you connect with the earth any tension or energies that can be released at this time that you no longer need travel down through these roots going back into the earth to be recycled transmuted any dense energies and negative energies old energy traveling down these roots into the earth to be cleansed, purified, transmuted. And then coming back up these roots are purifying, cleansing, healing energies straight from the earth. These energies coming back up the roots into your body and see this beautiful energy from the earth beginning to circle, circulate throughout your body, cleansing, purifying, harmonizing, leaving you absolutely relaxed. Now see yourself in a nature environment. With all of your guides, the Native Americans, your ascension team, the angels surrounding you. Here to assist in a clearing, healing, balancing, and opening of your root chakra. Now feeling nice, calm, completely supported. Focus your intention on your root, this energy center at the base of your spine. Focus on this area of your body. Your root chakra may seem dim, small, imbalanced. Now we and your guides begin to breathe life into it. Every breath you take, sending light to your root chakra. Your root chakra begins to expand. Your guides begin helping to expand your root chakra to do a very deep cleansing. Seeing your root chakra expanding beyond your body, bigger and bigger and bigger.
taking a look inside of your root chakra at what needs to be cleared and healed. If your guides wish to show you anything at this time that may be negatively impacting your root, we ask that they do so now. This may be past life memories. Childhood wounds, relationships. Your Ascension team now begins sending light and healing frequencies. They begin clearing out your root. Archangel Michael steps forward. If there are any energetic cords that need to be cut, connecting to your root, any doorways that need to be closed, any holes or tears that need to be repaired, Archangel Michael cuts these cords with his sword now. Your ascension team, your guides, enter into your root chakra and begin helping you to repair and heal the energetic walls. Sending love, light, healing to your root. Light begins to flood into your root chakra, clearing away any blockages, any impurities. Just see these things gently washing away. Where your chakra may have seemed dim before, a bright, vivid red color begins returning to this chakra. It begins to feel stronger Its vibrancy begins coming back. Breathing power, light into this chakra, feeling it becoming stronger and stronger. Still focusing on the base of your spine. This chakra becomes a bright, vivid red color. And as this happens, feel yourself becoming like a mountain, strong, sturdy, grounded, I am a mountain. I am a mountain. 
I am grounded. I am safe. I am strong. I am balanced. I am invincible. I am stable. I am a mountain. Nothing can change this. I stand firm and true in who I am. I am protected. I am divinely guided and protected. I am secure. I am taken care of. I need no worries as I am safe. Repeating these mantras into your root chakra. Your root chakra is a vibrant, beautiful red and the energy begins spinning as your root chakra grows in strength. See your root chakra becoming more vibrant, spinning, becoming whole, balanced. As your ascension team has cleared any impurities, has sealed any holes or tears from past lives, from past traumas, fortifying the strength and stability of your root chakra. Healing your root chakra. Feel the energy now able to go more easily through your root and travel up to your upper chakras. There's a clear path now. You feel more balanced. The energy is better able to circle throughout your body. You are firmly connected to the earth. If there are any last repairs or adjustments, we ask that your Ascension team, the Native American Sasquatch guides, star family, archangels, make any final adjustments now. And then your root chakra begins to shrink back down to normal size, perfectly balanced with the other chakras. Feeling perfectly balanced, harmonious, stable, strong. Deeply connected with the earth. Feeling safe, protected. 
You now send thanks to your guides, to the Native Americans, Star Family, Sasquatch, your Ascension team, the angels, sending their, sending you their love and light and you sending them your love and light. Feeling the love in your heart. You now begin traveling back to your body, back to this present moment, feeling clarity, feeling strong, balanced, feeling calm. Taking deep breaths and grounding this energy. Grounding it back down into the earth. And whenever you are ready, you may begin coming back. You may want to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And then let me know how your experience was. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I don't think I know how to pronounce that. This is so beautiful. Thanks, Lily. You're welcome. Darby, ready for a nap? Ooh, it's going to rain again. That sounds nice. Victor's feeling more calm and balanced. The top of your head is also buzzing. That's awesome. J.R. Johnson, very beautiful. Thanks, Lily. Awesome. Lakeside Laura, beautiful. Can't wait to re-listen when I'm not driving. That's amazing. Uh, Nick, I heard from my guides. Always be confident. You got this. Whole experience made me melt. This was beautiful and amazing today. Thank you. Thank you for being here and activating New Earth today. Awesome. Oh, um, wait, it was awesome. Jen, thank you so much. I loved that. Awesome. Wait, I am a mountain. I love, I love that mantra because whenever you say that, you can actually like feel yourself just becoming so strong and sturdy. It's amazing. Tabitha, this was great. I had a revelation that I need to break up with my boyfriend. Oh, snap. <laughs> <sighs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Good luck, girl. <laughs> time for uh time for just time for some new, time for some changes. I hear you. Carol, oh trippy. Kept seeing snippets of my family here now. That's awesome. Medium channel. I was feeling it in my heart center really strong. Then they started blending my heart with my root. Kind of like heart root coherence. And I got clear information that way. Thank you, Lily. Amazing. That's awesome. I really like that. Like the heart root coherence. That's amazing. Sanzi kept seeing red behind my closed eyes when he would say red. That's awesome. Megs loved it. Feel so peaceful, even though I'm so hungry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jen, I never want to miss a Sunday with you guys. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so nice getting together with everybody. Golden threads. Light as a feather. Um, yeah, quite a unique username. Uh, Leah, that was intense, but super relaxing at the same time. Awesome. Yeah, I wanted to add some kind of intense, like we're cutting cords, we're getting this stuff out of here, but then also, we're also relaxed, and we're a mountain. <laughs> Nicole fell asleep again. That could be some really deep work being done to your root. That's why, so relaxing, my mouth is sore from smiling. Oh, that's amazing. Beautiful TNA activation. Okay. Zach's feeling super relaxed, peaceful, balanced. Awesome. Michelle, feel grounded and centered. Yeah. So important. 
so important. Anytime you feel yourself start kind of like, you know, slipping up, feeling anxious, even like worried or emotion, they're kind of all over the place. The root chakra will get you right back to feeling centered, strong. Jennifer, I always go to such a deep place with these. It's like a lucid dream state. Hard to explain, but really amazing. Beautiful. I like that. Cosmo girl, hard to come back. Love the purple lion. That sounds fun. Marigold feels like they released a lot. That's good. Uh, Lorraine, I was sitting on a big red flower. And as this expanded, I saw lots of healing hands in there. Red Jasper helped a lot too. Yeah, red Japs Jasper is another really good grounding crystal and crystal for the root chakra. So often like red, red crystals or black crystals or like earthy looking crystals will really help with the root. Love you. Very grounding, very confidence awakening. Thanks, Ohm Wave. Awesome. Black Star, much needed. Feel a lot more stable. Christine, that was amazing. Thank you so much. The energy in my room is spinning off the charts. Sounds awesome. Hannah, we are stable and stand firm in who we are. I love it. Okay. Awesome. It's so beautiful seeing everybody's comments. Beautiful. Uh, JF, Lily, can you be so kind and tell us how do you recognize that your spirit guides are real and not just kind of wild imagination? Well, it's almost like, what's the difference? <laughs> you can ask them for a sign like, hey, can you please just reaffirm to me that this is you? Ask for a sign. Ask for a confirmation. But then also, like, we are creators and we... We so what we are our, our our imagination is creating reality also. So it's kind of like both. Um, usually with this stuff, imagination isn't just something made up though. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, just to wrap it up, um, don't forget there are two more group DNA activations coming up. You can sign up for those in the description, group sessions, uh, April 13th and April 15th. And don't forget there's a, a fundraiser on Sherry Divman's channel for the New Earth Children and in, in her uh, Creative Learning Center that will be live tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. ET on Sherry's channel. Don't forget to like this video. And then on Wednesday, we have a Sasquatch episode. Yeah, we may do a chakra series. Let me know if you guys are watching the replay. Let me know in the comments what you think about doing the sacral chakra next, doing a, a, a chakra series. I think that's a good idea because the chakras are so important. So important. All right. Thank you, Victor, for sharing that. All right. I love you guys so much. I will see you hopefully tonight on Sherry's channel and um, on Wednesday for Starseed Chats. Bye, guys.